Hey everybody, welcome back. Before I get started today, I just want to mention that GearBest does have some pretty interesting sales going on right now. They will be in the comment section below. One of the things that's on sale is a GeeTech, I guess that's how you pronounce that, GeeTech or GeeTech A10M multicolor printer. Prints in two different colors at once. The kind of interesting thing about this one to me is it looks like an Ender 3 clone. I mean, it looks exactly like an Ender 3 clone, except made by G-Tech, probably the factory across the street from Creality copying them, or coming off maybe the third the third shift at Creality. But it is a 220 by 220 by 260, same size as the Ender 3, looks exactly like the Ender 3, except it's got two spools and a, a, a two filament head on it, and it is $249. This sale will probably go on for probably till the 10th of February, but if you're interested in it, check it out. I have no experience with it myself, but I got to say that it is extremely tempting at 249 bucks. So that being said, what you're looking at is the bed of my Ender 3. This is my original Ender 3, the very first one I bought right when they first came out. It is the first version of this with the 3D printed power supply cover and all of the issues that went with the original ones. And I've had good luck with this printer, but lately it's been very difficult to get it to level and to stay level. And um, my understanding is, and of course, this is pretty uh, well-known fact that the springs that come with the Ender 3 are pretty much crap. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I guess that's one way to put it. So. Here's something we have. I just got these in the mail the other day. These are Uxcel, U-X-C-E-L-L. -L. Uh, I think they're 20 millimeter long springs, low, light, you know, light load springs. These are the yellow colored ones. These are um, three and a half bucks on Amazon, and I'll put a link below. Three and a half bucks on Amazon for a package of 10. So we're gonna put them in. Now, the Ender 3 has some interesting little things here the screw that and if you've put obviously if you've put a an abl system on your ender 3 you've probably mounted the bed solid so this video isn't for you but you'll see that that creality put the screw let me peel this up they put the screw that holds the bed on here and it's just a machine screw sitting in a chamfered hole and it's not it's not you know secured in in any way it's just secured in when you put pressure on it but if you don't have pressure on it a lot of times it just turns so there's a couple way we can replace this spring one we can get rid of the bed or cut holes in it this bed surface and this bed surface is lousy for printing any oh excuse me lousy for printing on anyway so we could peel the bed off but then i'd have to deal with all that glue and i'm not a big fan of that and i really don't want my mirror square glued onto the bed. So in order to do this, I'm going to leave that on and I'm going to take all of my wheels off and I've already got them loose. I'm going to spin them all off and we're going to lift the whole bed up at once to do this. Bear with me here while I spin them completely off. I thought I had them further off than that, but thought I had them ready to drop, but apparently not. There we go. Now we're going to lift the whole bed up, and we should have our screws either already on here. I got two of them still there, and I got one of them underneath our bed heat connector. And let's pop that up and take it off. And um, let's compare these real quick. Let me flip this back over. Let's compare these real quick to the um, new ones. So there's one of the stock ones. There's one of the new ones. You can see how many more windings this has on it. That means it's going to be a much smoother spring, I believe, than this one. See, so can you see those? I'm on the other side of the room as my video monitor, so... I don't know how easy these are to see in the, in the photo, but they're, they're about the same length, but they have a finer wire and far more twists in it. As far as the pressure is concerned, I would say they're pretty similar. 
But one thing I noticed about these springs, and one of them went walkabout on me, is they are now, and you know you can't see it, they are now kind of all slightly different lengths. And some of the wheels are very easy to turn now, and some of them still feel like they were originally. So a couple of these have lost lost their springiness, whatever you want to use for that term. Now let's see how much fun this is going to be to get back together. This one we're just going to slide on, and we're going to put our bed heat connector back on. That'll hold it on. And the others I'm going to either have to hold on with my fingers, and I've only got two hands, or I am going to have to set them there and hope to get them back on. These two kind of merge together. Must be spring mating season. And I'm going to try this. I'm going to hold these two on, try and get them started. See how I'm not the most, I'm not the best person in the world for doing anything that requires any kind of dexterity. Okay, the two backs are in. I've knocked the fronts off. There's one. Where did the other one go? One went walkabout on me. Thankfully, I have a bag full of them back here, so... Let's grab another one, and I'll find that one at a later date. Shouldn't have had them out to begin with. So we're going to slide these on, and we're going to slide them down. We're going to drop the bed down. Oops. Don't know jokes now, okay? Okay, there we go. They're on. Now all I have to do is spin my plastic wheels with the nuts on them on. Oh, there's the one that took a hike on me. Give me a sec to put that back in the bag so I don't lose it. I bought two packages of these because I do have three printers they'll work on. Let me spin this nut back on here. There we go. Whoops. Let me get that back on. Whack the camera. And one more. Like I say, if you prefer to do these one at a time, you can peel that that um, print surface up and probably just discard it since it really isn't of much value as a print surface. But then you'll have to deal with all the glue underneath of it. And I can't get that one started. There we go. I got it. I think. Yep. There it is. So all four are back on. Now all I need to do is level the bed, put my glass back on, and we have a fully updated, at least the springs anyway, in the bed of the Ender 3. And there you have it. All four done. I will put a link to these springs below, and I will keep you updated on how they perform. And that was a pretty inexpensive upgrade, and hopefully now I go back, because when I originally bought this printer... I only had to level the bed. I mean, as long as I didn't wrestle anything around on it, I only had to level the bed about once every five, six, seven prints. Now I'm having to do it every time, and it won't hold. So hopefully that's secure. And if so, it was certainly an expensive one. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, if I've helped you out any, please like and subscribe. And um, check below for the link to the, the GearBest dual color printer. And, um, yeah, I'll be back next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.